In this video, we're going to take a look at adding polynomials specifically. However, adding and subtracting polynomials is essentially the same, at least in the uh, steps that I've outlined. Before we can do that, though, we have to talk a little bit about something called like terms. And like terms are simply terms that have the exact same variables raised to the exact same exponents. They can't mix and match exponents, as we'll see. And so in the yellow here, I've got a couple sets of like terms. And so I just want to I just want to go through here and show you why. So we have the exact same variables with the exact same exponents. Remember, so there's two conditions that we have to satisfy. Okay, so we check the variables. All right, they're both x good. And then we check the exponents. Oh, okay, well that's good. They're the same. So these are in fact like terms because they share the exact same x variables with the exact same exponents. In the second example here, again, we check for the variables. We have x's and y's in both, good. But with the x's, we have a 3 for the exponent, and we also have a 3 over here. So as far, so far, these are like terms. And on the y's, this y has a 4. This y also has a 4. So they have the exact same variables, both terms. Those full, 3x cubed y to the fourth, and 7x cubed y to the fourth are terms. Each term has the exact same variable as the other, and they have the exact same exponents on those variables. And so they're like terms, by definition. Now, over in the light blue here, we come up with a problem. We check for the variable. That's good. We've got it. But the exponent here on the first x is just 1. It's understood to be that, since there was nothing there. On the second x, we have a 2. These are not like terms. Because while we satisfy the exact same variable condition, we did not satisfy the exact same exponents on those variables. Now, let's go down here to the second one, and then I'm going to go ahead and explain a little bit more, uh, a little bit more conceptually why like terms are what they are. And so if you look, we have x's and y's in both terms. That's good. But if you look at the exponent on x, it's a 3 on the first term and a 4 on the second term. Stop. At this point, they're not like terms. They don't satisfy the exact same exponents condition. Okay, so now, the, the commonalities that I've seen are people try to say, well, if I add 6x and 15x squared, I should get 21x cubed. And so if I'm adding x and x squared, I should get x cubed. Uh, there's a little flaw here. First of all, if you've studied the rules of exponents, in order to add the exponents, you have to multiply two numbers with the same base. And so you're trying to add with the same base, and that doesn't work. That's okay. That's fine. You can still add them, but you can't really combine them into one term. In a more conceptual, uh, in a more conceptual way, let's go ahead and assign some value to x. Because really, when we're looking at these variables, these variables are nothing more than numbers we don't know. So let's give it a number. Let's give it a name. Let's call it 10. So let's say x equals 10. Because we're very comfortable in counting in tens and adding tens. So if you have x to the first plus x squared equaling x cubed, because this is, this is a very common mistake. What you're really saying is that 10 plus 100, because 10 squared is 100, is equal to 1,000. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Mostly because 10 plus 100 is 110, which is not 1,000. Okay, this is the common mistake. This is bad. Don't do that. It doesn't work that way. All right, so now, how do we do this? Well, we can add 10s and 10s to come up with two tens, or 20. We can add 100s and 100s and come up with two 100s, or 200. And we can add 1,000s, and we can continue this right down the line. When you throw a y in here also, you have to change out y. y could be the same value, but to make it to, to illustrate it, you'd have to actually change y to be a different value. 
So we could call x 10 and y 5 and then prove it that way. And it's the same exact argument. So you have to be very, very cautious. You cannot combine unlike terms. And the different exponents make them unlike because you're talking about tens and hundreds. All right, enough about like terms. Let's go ahead and use it and see what happens. So here I've got a couple of polynomials here in dark blue. And I'm going to add them. So now, if I'm going to add them, I, I try to keep everything the same. And in subtraction, you have to distribute in order to, to really do it out well and be consistent. And so what I, would, what I would suggest is you distribute to eliminate the parentheses. There's an understood 1 out in front here. So I'm going to take that positive 1, and I'm going to distribute that positive 1 to each other term in the second, fa in the second polynomial. In the first polynomial, I also have an understood 1. And so I can distribute that as well. Now here, I'm going to also reorder the terms in number two, reorder the terms using commutative property of addition so that the like terms are next to each other. I'm going to take the like terms and put them in different colors so that they're easier to recognize. And so one times two x cubed is two x cubed. Over here, positive one times three x cubed is positive three x cubed. And now 1 distributed to the 7x, or positive 7x, is positive 7x. Positive 1 distributed to the negative 6, 1 times negative 6 is negative 6x. Notice that in this multiplication process, I'm not actually changing the variable, because I'm not multiplying by a variable. I'm just multiplying by the number 1. And then finally, we have 1 times a positive 4 is a positive 4, and positive 1 times a positive 4 is a positive 4. All right, so now I want to recombine, or I want to reorder my like terms. That means all the reds are going to come together to include their signs out in front. So that'll give me 2x cubed plus 3x cubed, and then I play with the light blues with their signs, plus 7x minus 6x. And then finally, I play around with the constants in purple. I get plus 4 and plus 4. Now, step 3, I'm going to combine those like terms. If I want to do, uh, stay consistent with this conceptual exercise we did up here in yellow, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to ask you, what is 2,000 plus 3,000. And that way you add the 2 and the 3 to make 5 thousands. And so you're just simply adding those coefficients. And then you add or subtract as, as necessary the next one. So you have 6 or 7 minus 6 is a positive 1x. We don't need to put the 1 in front, but if you want to, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And then on, on the final one, 4 plus 4 is positive 8. And that is our answer. Just remember the most important thing. When you add two polynomials, you can only combine like terms. And like terms must have the same exact variables, each variable having the same exact exponent on it cannot mix and match, not an addition or subtraction. I'll have a subsequent video on subtraction.